gentlemen. I would like to take this time to thank you all for coming and also welcoming you to the Farrell Area School District's 118th commencement ceremony for the class of 2021. Tonight is a very solemn and prestigious privilege for our students and we ask that you remain dignified and professional during this evening's event. We would also ask that you refrain from any screaming out, catcalling, or any other vocal distractions that would take away the dignity of the evening. We welcome the Farrell High School's graduating class of 2021. Please come to the podium. As we move from darkness to part of the world where all is hidden, and move into the light, we find what was once hidden from us. This light goes as we learn more and make our lives more efficient and productive. That light represents knowledge. Knowledge about how the world works and how we must function as we move through life. 
Much of that knowledge is earned in the years we spent here at Fair High School. Through the nurturing and care of our teachers and staff, we have made that life work for us. This candle represents that life, that moment. I now pass it on to the class of 2022. For you, it grows even better as you move towards your graduation. On behalf of the class of 2022, I accept this right and this honor that goes with it. As always, we will uphold the following traditions established at Fair High School. We will wish the class of 2021 the best as you take the light and commence your journey through life. Have a safe and happy life filled with wonderful experience, and always remember Fair High School. King, Mr. Matt Fowler, Mr. Brian Vecchio, Mr. Chronica Wright, all of our administrators and faculty members. To my fellow colleagues, the Fur Area School District Board of Directors, you, the parents and grandparents and guardians. Congratulations to the class of 2021. 42 years ago, I graduated from this very high school. Just wanted to take time to just leave a few quotes that steer my life on a daily basis, and hopefully it will steer your life as well. First quote I wanted to give to you is, while you cannot direct the winds in your life, but one thing you can do is adjust the sails. You and you alone are the only person who can live the life that can write the story that you were meant to tell. And one of my best ones, it says, be the best version of yourself. Class of 2021, no one can beat you at being you. Don't allow tomorrow's problems to take your energy today, but live in the moment. And lastly, I leave you with this creed that branch that I served for 32 years, we live by, and I've shared with this class, integrity first, service before self, and excellence in all that you do. And again, I say unto you, as a class of 2021, a class with much promise and much success, we bid you farewell from this journey as you begin your new journey. Congratulations, 2000. Good evening. It's customary during our commencement exercise that we recognize our retirees here at the Fair Area School District. And this year, we have two remarkable employees who are retiring. They are Mrs. Morris Hilton with 12 years as an administrative assistant in the elementary school, 
and Mrs. Cheryl Smoot with 32 years as a classroom aide. These two women have left an indelible mark on the hearts and lives of not just the students, but the employees in the entire Farrell Area School District family. And so we say thank you on behalf of the Farrell Area School District and its Board of Education. Thank you to Mrs. Hilton and Mrs. Smoot. And we wish you the very best as you begin this next chapter in your lives. Thank you. I'd like to thank my teachers and the educators here at Florida, who, throughout the years, showed me that education involves way more than just teaching. It involves caring and striving for the best out of a student. I'm truly honored to be gifted this opportunity to be a graduating class of Florida. Graduating is something we work hard for, and we support pride of that. Walt Disney once quoted that around here, however, we don't look backwards for very long. We keep moving forward, opening new doors, and doing new things, because we're curious, and curiosity keeps bringing us down new paths. I personally feel this quote suits our class, because we have always been curious. This curiosity has given us the drive to be here today. We hope to inspire the future generation, and hopefully make an impact around the world. We've always thought big, and pursued bigger. Due to this curiosity, we want to close our goals and progress past struggles, never dwelling on the what if. Though we do look back at the past and reminisce, it makes us strive for a better tomorrow. We're not the same people we were when we entered high school, but we are ever changing, physically, mentally, and spiritually. Who we were four years ago isn't who we are today. And who we are today isn't who we will be tomorrow. Going with each and every step we take, making us create greater and better ambitions than the last. Each day we wake up with a different thought in our heads and goals in our hearts. We have only just finished the prologue of our tale. We still have a whole other three acts and character arts to get through. I don't want us to look back on high school with sadness. I want us to be excited for the future we have ahead. This isn't the end of our story, we are still writing it. So let our curiosity will lead us down the path. So that when we do reunite someday, we'll have all these amazing stories to tell each other. No matter where our life takes us, I hope we will be pleased with our lives with us and let them inspire us to be amazing. We all have bright futures ahead of us, no matter where we go or what we decide to do. Congratulations to the class of 2021. We did it! on the class of 2021 I would like to start off by giving my thank yous to a list of people. First, I would like to thank the school board for all the rules and regulations that they put in place to allow for a safe learning place for our students. Next, I would like to thank the superintendent for working alongside the school board and principals to allow us to have the best school in the I would like to thank all the principals, both high school and elementary, but I would like to give a special thanks to Mr. Fenner 
He would always strive to do his best for his students and faith, and he should be applauded. Thank you, Mrs. Titus, for all the scholarship opportunities she has made my classmates and I aware of throughout our senior year. I would also like to thank all the teachers that I've had throughout my year in school, but there are a couple I would like to give a special shout out to. First, I would like to thank Mr. Hustis. He was my sixth grade math teacher, but so much more. He would always follow my sport and academic activities and was always there with encouraging words and advice. For that, I thank him. Senora Torres has been my Spanish teacher since eighth grade. I will miss her random talks with me, her and my friends about life and life after high school. I would like to thank Mrs. Cabarrus for always being a teacher that made us a little One of these opportunities was school enrollment courses for college and high school. I would also like to thank Mr. Cardinal, Mrs. Smith, and Mr. Lewis for all the great laughs and talks about college over the past couple of years. I would like to thank my mom and dad for all the sacrifices they have made for me. I would like to thank my grandparents as they are there to help me with everything I do and do everything I ask of them. I would like to give a special shout out to my younger siblings as they have made me a more patient but patient person, especially with There are four people I think I would have not gotten through high school without. First, I would like to thank each and every for always having my best interest in me. And lastly, but not least in my heart, I would like to thank my Aunt Lisa and Uncle Aunt. They have always opened their home to me and been an accepted business to me. Six years ago, I stood here at my sixth grade graduation as a valedictorian. On that day, I gave a speech where I said I would be the valedictorian in my graduating class, and that is a goal I have now accomplished. Frederick Dutton. Frederick Douglass once said, if there is no struggle, there is no good. I believe that this is befitting to the recent events of the last two years. As we enter the pandemic, school was shut down and virtual learning was closed. As difficult as it was to learn through all the distractions and disappointments we endured, my classmates and I came out with people. Through trial and error, we were able to become better students and learn through the use of technology. After living through this time, it has shown me how adaptive and flexible we are as a group. My years of thorough work always be remembered throughout all my future in life. Whether it's playing over the lights on Friday night, or getting inducted into the National Honor Society, things I have been involved in and participated in have, have shaped the person I am now and will help me with my new career now. Even though I may not feel like it now, I will miss this place and I'll feel like when the times and experiences are back to I will miss the laughs, the jokes, and seeing my friends every day as we move forward in life. As I wrap up my speech, I will leave my classmates with one more quote, this time from Nancy Mendoza. Education is the most powerful weapon that you can use to change the world. Whether you're going to college, trade school, the military, or straight into the workforce, remember this. Never stop learning, and you'll be more than a little. Over the years, Farrell High School has created a tremendous track record for helping to create amazing graduates. Tonight, you will get the opportunity to meet and hear one of those amazing individuals that is proud to be an alumnus at Farrell. Dr. Matt Caputo is a 2010 graduate of Farrell High School. He then attended Clarion University, where he received a Bachelor's of Science in Physics and minored in Mathematics. Afterwards, he attended Youngstown State University, where he earned a doctorate in material science and engineering, where he investigated the structural and functional relationships of additive manufactured ferromagnetic shape memory alloys. After completing his PhD, Dr. Caputo worked as a postdoctorate research scientist in the Center of Excellence in Material Science and Engineering and Advanced Manufacturing Research at YSU, where he characterized aluminum-based alloys manufactured using 3D printing technology. Dr. Caputo also worked at Arconic Titanium and engineered products developed a method to reduce the amount of oxygen 
in specialty titanium-based alloys. Dr. Caputo is currently an assistant teaching professor of engineering at Penn State Chenango and conducts, conducts research in the fields of shape memory alloys, additive manufacturing, sintering, and engineering education. He has over 15 publications and over 20 presentations in his field. Outside of his work, Matt recently became a father and enjoys spending time with his family. He also likes to garden, spend time outdoors, and play bocce. Will you please help me welcome this year's commencement speaker, graduate of 2010, Dr. Matt Caputo. As uh, Mr. Powell mentioned, I graduated about 11 years ago, and uh, believe it or not, I gave uh, a speech at an afternoon to be the uh, class president. So at this time, I never thought I would be asked to return to address another graduate in class. When I was invited to speak, I was a bit astonished, actually, since there are so many fellow graduates who are excelling in their endeavors. And it is because of that I feel even more esteemed. Different. 
And as I stand here, I realize that what has changed the most is me. I've thought about the change, and uh, I like to think that most of how I've changed is sort of positive. However, the truly marvelous thing about how you change as a person is that you have total control of how you change. I take an approach in life where I always strive to become a better person, and oftentimes it is difficult, it can be difficult. It usually means I need to complete some additional work and challenge myself in ways that I normally do not. This, of course, was not always my attitude or approach towards such matters. In fact, I remember uh, thinking back to my uh, high school experiences, and uh, for me, applying to college was one of those experiences. And I remember being a little bit disappointed in my SAT score. SAT score nowadays is in about the 26th percentile, according to CollegeAssembly.com. And uh, that is well below average, according to the time. But the thing about me is uh, I'm the type of person that this information would be required. It would motivate me And uh, on May 5th, 2018, I entered the top 1% of the United States to have a terminal degree. Uh, the moral of the story here is not about me uh, making such uh, an achievement. It's simply to uh, convey to all of you that a number cannot be found. A number cannot be found. And the only person that can give up on you is you. Just for not letting you move forward. After today, all of you will officially begin a new chapter in your lives, and you, you, you will be welcomed by adulthood and conscious responsibility. As you enter this new chapter, I strongly encourage all of you to embrace change. When I graduated high school, I was so sure in everything there was to know about life and exactly what my future looked like. If I fast forward to today, and everything I had envisioned about my future is not reality. Eleven years ago, I did not plan on acquiring a physics degree. I definitely did not uh, uh, plan on receiving a PhD. And I never imagined that I would have such a wonderful wife and such an amazing family. I like to think that our lives are defined by opportunities and even the opportunities that we miss. Those opportunities that will often present you with an uncomfortable change with respect to what is normal for each of us. Change is something that we are not used to and that it can be hard to face at times. It usually means that we are in pursuit of something that we are unsure or unaware about. And it is my immense recommendation to all of you that you happily face such challenges since it usually means that you will be embracing and welcoming the new experience. I'll tell you a small story about an experience of mine during my graduate studies. The earning a PhD typically involves some form of novel research. In other words, doing something that no one else has ever done within their field. So my PhD project had a very clear end goal, and to get to that goal, I set small steps along the way. Now, one particular step uh, led me down the road of six months of work with failure after failure after failure for six months ago. So let's try to think about that for a moment. I went to work about six times a week. I sometimes work a very long day. Uh, 
if you're able to maintain this same approach uh, throughout life and, and keep trying no matter what situation life throws at you, I can assure you there's nothing and no one that can hold you back from any goal that you set. I have discovered that if you face these challenges head on, that you will learn what that you will learn what to do that is necessary to make you become comfortable and confident regardless of what that challenge is. However, I will be doing all of you a disservice if I didn't mention that embracing these challenges won't be easy and will most definitely touch your authority. When I was around your age, my dad told me if it was easy, everyone would do it. And at the time, I didn't quite understand what that meant. Maybe even today I don't. However, I leave that quote with you because to each of you it will really mean something different. With that, I hope my speech has inspired and encouraged all of you to make great strides in your future endeavors. From this day on, I encourage you to never be afraid to fail, always work hard, and ask for help if one is needed. I wish to conclude my uh, remarks with one of my favorite quotes. The most beautiful thing in the world and as you begin your journey, don't forget to stop and admire the beauty of the world. Thank you very much. Dr. Adams King, this time I submit that all students sitting on the EJ floor have fulfilled the PA State requirements for graduation. I ask your approval that they may now receive their high school diplomas. Thank you, Mr. Fowler. As the superintendent of the Farrell Area School District and subsequently a commissioned officer of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, it is my honor and privilege to accept the young men and women sitting before me as graduates eligible for diplomas on this 28th day of May in the year of our Lord 2021, and they will become the 118th graduating class of the Farrell Area School District. You may begin presenting diplomas. Class of 2021, please stand to receive the diplomas. Due to the fact that we could not have a commencement or a, I'm sorry, that we could not have a recognition night, I will be reading all of the scholarships as well as any awards that the students may have received mon uh, monetarily. So I would ask that as I read each student's name that you pause for any kind of celebration uh, and clapping until I'm done reading all of those awards. Valedictorian Gary Samuel Satterwhite III will be going to Duquesne University and majoring in business. Gary has received the Michael Marzano Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $500, the Rebecca Jones Brisch Scholarship in the amount of $700. He has received the Strimview Memorial for $2,000, the Donovan Edwards Scholarship in the amount of $500, the Donovan D. Edwards Scholarship in the amount of $800, the 2021 Mercer County Frontiers Club Scholarship for $500, and he has also earned a laptop from Penn State Talent Search for his essay. All in all, Gary will receive a full tuition scholarship to Duquesne University for four years, totaling $159,968. Bringing his whole total of awards to $260,528.
Our next graduate, salutatorian Faith Ann Zagati, will be attending Teal College in the fall and majoring in neuroscience. She is a proud recipient of the NLMK scholarship for five, I'm sorry, for $1,000 and will receive a full tuition scholarship to Teal College totaling $139,868. Jalen Rennell Roy will be attending University of Boston and majoring in chemistry pre-med as a pediatrician. He has received all of his scholarship in the amount of $304,217 and he has yet to receive his scholarship amount from the University of Boston. Our next graduate is Bryce Albert Butler. Bryce will be attending Westminster College in the fall and made it majoring in to be a pediatrician. He is the recipient of the Rebecca Jones Brish Scholarship in the amount of $700, the Billy Robinson We Are More Scholarship for $2,000. He is receiving in a complete package from Westminster College totaling up from the Jerb, Jerb Miller Scholarship in the amount of $96,000, also from Westminster, Lemon Family Scholarship for $16,000 and the Westminster Scholarship Grant for $13,000. And his total package is $945,196. Xavier Matthew Footman will be attending YSU in the fall and majoring in mechanical and electrical engineering. Xavier is a proud recipient of the Valerie Rufo Broughton Scholarship in the amount of $10,000. And for pursuing a degree in electrical engineering, Mr. Gentili, a proud graduate, will be, will be giving him $200 and he is also the proud recipient of the NLMK Scholarship for $1,000. Mariana Nevea Amos will be attending Duquesne University and majoring in nursing and minoring in business. Mariana has received $20,000 from Duquesne University as an academic scholarship and a $4,000 scholarship on campus for her room and board. Maria Michaela Haynes will be attending Youngstown State University and majoring in dental hygiene. She is a proud recipient of the Rebecca Jones Brisch Scholarship for $700 and also received the NLMK Scholarship for $1,000. She is receiving a scholarship from YSU for $1,000 and in total she will be receiving $366,312. Ja'Kara Lynn Green. Ja'Kara will be attending Teal College and majoring in accounting in the fall. She's a proud recipient of the Emma DeNoble Bresky Scholarship for $500, the Rebecca Jones Brisch Scholarship for $700, the Mercer County NAACP Scholarship for $1,000, the 2020 Mercer County Frontiers Club Scholarship worth $500, the David Elias Memorial Scholarship for $500 and also received the Shenango Valley Ministerial Association for $500. Jacare received $106,000 to attend Teal College and in total she has received $112,000 in scholarships. <laughs> Linda Beth Stubbs. Linda will be attending and majoring in uh, Clarion University for Business, and she is going to be entering the workforce. <laughs> Kathleen Nori Dean. Kathleen will be attending Duquesne University in the fall and majoring in early child education in her hopes to become a teacher. She has received a $112,000 scholarship $1,000 scholarship for her academic tuition scholarship at Duquesne, and in total will be receiving $140,000. 
Marcus Lorenzo Green, Jr. Marcus will be attending Full Sail University in the fall and majoring in game art. He is a proud recipient of the Mercer County NAACP scholarship worth $1,000. He received a $22,000 scholarship to Full Sail Creative Minds and in total will be receiving $112,000 in scholarships. Tony Raven Austin. Tony will be attending Westminster College in the fall and majoring in accounting. In total from Westminster for a full ride scholarship, she will be receiving $84,000. Kamira Michelle Brown. Kamira will be attending Cleveland University in the fall and majoring in biology and later going on to become an OBGYN. She is a proud recipient of the 2021 Mercer County Frontier Scholarship for $500, and in total package from Cleveland University, she is receiving $29,464 for tuition. Mariana Lee Marie Dietz. Mariana will be attending the Indiana University of Pennsylvania in the fall, and she will be majoring in nursing and minoring in business. LaShawn Lorraine Williams. LaShawn will be attending Teal College in the fall and majoring in psychology. She has earned a laptop from the Penn State Talent Search Program for her essay and is also a proud recipient of the NLMK scholarship worth $1,000. In total package, LaShawn will be receiving $26,000 for Teal College for her Merit Diversity and the Band Scholarship. Eric Christopher David James Bell. Eric will be attending Cleveland State University in the fall and majoring in communications. In scholarship, he will be receiving $14,176 to attend Cleveland State University. Zaire Lewis Brown. Zaire will be attending Eastern Gateway Community College in the fall and will be majoring to get his CDL license for their CDL workforce program. Lakaya Monet Burns. Lakaya will be entering the Air Force after graduation and she will be majoring in the Air Force for aviation technician. Makaya Loren Burns. Makaya will be attending Laurel Technical Institution in the fall and majoring in cosmetology. Cameron Devon Burris. Cameron will be attending a trade school in the fall and majoring in truck driving. Jeremiah Silas Butler. Jeremiah will be attending Teal College in the fall and majoring in filmmaking. He is a proud recipient of the Superintendent's Award and also received his laptop from Penn State Talent Search. His scholarship for Teal College will include $130,000, $560. I apologize, it was Penn State University. Amira Renee Coleman. Amira will be attending Akron University in the fall. Curtis Rayshawn Coleman III. Curtis will be attending Kennedy King and majoring in computer science. Takari Latrell Evans. 
Takara will be en entering trade school in the fall and majoring in real estate. Jaden Todd Harrison. Jaden plans to attend Pittsburgh Technical College in the fall and majoring in information technology. He is a proud recipient of the 2021 Mercer County Frontier Scholarship worth $500, the Shenango Valley Ministerial Association for $500, and also is the proud recipient of the NLMK Scholarship for $1,000. Christian Cole Hartley. Christian will be attending the Pipe Fitter Apprenticeship Program in the fall. Jada Lenise Jackson. Jada will be attending the Navy in the fall and will be majoring in military police. She has received her full GI Bill worth $180,000 and is also the proud recipient of the Superintendent's Award. Amandale Alexander Johnson Williams. Amandale will be attending trade school in the fall and, and majoring in auto body technician. He is also the proud recipient of the Superintendent's Award. Jordan Andrea Jones. Jordan is also, I, I'm sorry, Jordan is attending the Avita Institute in Columbus and majoring in cosmetology. Lashaya Destiny McClendon. Lashaya will be attending Youngstown State University in the fall. Katea Miana Milhouse. Katea will be attending Philbury College School of Nursing in Columbus and eventually becoming a registered traveling nurse along with studying to become a real estate agent and business owner. <laughs> Samaya Lovemore. Samaya plans on enlisting in the Air Force in the fall and majoring as a private investigator and is also the recipient of the Superintendent Award. Meadow Augusta Murphy. Meadow will be attending Eastern Gateway Community College in the fall and majoring in business and finance. Ramon Deshawn Otis. Ramon will be, will be attending trade school in the fall and majoring in technology. Shion Jose Rain will be attending Pittsburgh Technical Institute and majoring in aviation. Jalen Damon Richardson. Jalen will be entering the workforce upon graduation. And our last graduate, Jordan Sky Scott. Jordan will be entering the military in the fall. In total, in total, this year's 2021 class received $3,100,585 in total scholarship.
Will the class of 2021 please stand and be recognized? You are no longer students, but will now forevermore be known as graduates of the Farrell Area School District. Please turn your tassel. Now at this time, due to the weather, we were going to have our cap, our cap ceremony outside. However, at this time, graduates, will you please make your two lines so that we can have our cap ceremony for your throwing and commencing your graduation. Rows one and two, please line up in front of the stage. Rows three and four, line up against the crowd, please. And on the count of three, one, two, three. Now we do ask that you remain in your seats as the 2021 graduates process out of the EJ Gymnasium. Thank you. <laughs> 